Hello. Hello and welcome to another SPGMR video. Indeed. Today we have a 600 point encounter between the forces of the last alliance led by myself and Smaug. Nah, no, just kidding. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be Mordor. It's going to be Mordor. Yes. Mordor vs. Last Alliance. 600 points. Lords of Battle. Lords of Battle. Um, um, and what else is there to say, I suppose, other than... <laughs> we'll just transition them across to the armies, I suppose. I suppose we will. And we have transitioned, and this is the evil army for today. So we're going to go start over here. This is my army leader. We have the Witchy Grub of Angmar, and he is atop a flappy. He is coming in with Free Might, 16 Williams, and Free Fate. He also has, before I zoom out, the Crown of Morgul atop his head. His warband is down here, and he has 12 Grand Norks, 6 have a spear, they all have shields, and there are 2 black guard of Barad-dûr. Moving across to my second warband, we have the Undying atop, not a Flappy, but a Stompy. It's a horse. And he has exactly the same warband, but rather than two Black Guard of Arador, he actually has three. And that is 600 points of Mordor. And here is the good army for today, the last alliance, promise an all infantry force, neither atop a flappy or a stompy, all upon their own two feet. Uh, in the centre, you can see Isildur, leader of the force, equipped with a shield, and he leads 12. Numenorians, three have a bow and the other nine have a shield and a spear. On his left hand side is the humble Alvin captain wielding a shield and also hidden beneath his cloak is an Alvin bow. He leads eight warriors, three with an elf bow and the other five with a spear and a shield. And lastly, we have Erastor leading a elf with a banner. And a further eight elves, five of which have a spear and shield, and three have an elf bow. And this is how the board looks today for Lords of Battle. We have a wonderful castle here in the bottom. And Ross has selected wisely his side of the board to, provide, to deprive me of the walls and the fortifications and also the woodland. Indeed, just behind, just behind my lines. Yes, yeah, so uh, as Matthew alluded to there, I rolled the dice. Um, I rolled a dice, we both rolled a dice, and I won the roll-off um, for board edge and deployment first. So I just basically grouped my, la my, my men in a large line here, and uh, we will proceed as a large gaggle into the Valley of Death. Now, yes. Matthew, for once, um, you, had a, you actually had more in the way of warbands than I did. I did, mate, and uh, what I've done here is started off with this one on the side. We've obviously we've got a lot of bows, we've got nine bows plus the captain's bow as well, he's over there. Uh, so I want to try and get a bit of shooting in, but um, I mean I could probably I could have probably set right at the back and really dragged this game out and you know got my shots in um, for as long as possible. But um, I don't want Ross to get bored, so he shall be uh, on the ends of my sword in a, in a, set, a turn or two, and to his own detriment, I imagine. Do you have a retort? No, I will let the dice. Gods decide our fates today. Do the talking for you. Indeed. I do my talking on the back of you. <laughs> okay. Well, should we uh, roll four priority? Yeah. And uh, let's get this match underway. That's oh, a one. Oh Good start. It's a five. Yeah. Priority goes to Mordor. Okay, welcome back after that turn of movement and shooting. This is how the board looks after that round. Um, as you'll notice, there's not an awful amount of difference. I won priority. I did player. And we decided to um, do a general advance and we move forward towards uh, the enemy and the battle lines. Um, the Undying moved forward. He tried to do a compel on uh, one of the archers over here. The idea was bringing him out three inches and then standing in front. So the two archers then have to take in the ways to try and hit my men. Um, he didn't. He rolled two twos, which was not helpful. And then the Grub came over, and he tried to do exactly the same to this group of archers, and he also failed to cast as well. Um, even with his reroll, none, none of my magic went off, unfortunately. Um, and that was it. I have no shooting. Um, Matthew does, and had a lot more success than I did. Yeah, the only, the only movement I did was actually bring Aristotle slightly forward to get a uh, throwing dagger in, uh, but he missed. And the banner then sort of filled his spot. Um, otherwise, we fired uh, three archers at the Foul Beast, um, failed to wound, 
Uh, we fired three Numenorians into the front rank, killed a black guard, and then the three archers on my right flank fired again at Ross's centre, but no wounds. So one dead for Ross, and uh, none in reply to me. Indeed. Hopefully we can uh, we can change that. So let's go to priority for the next turn. It's a four. A four also. I had it last time. Therefore, the pension priority swings firmly in favour of the good forces. And welcome back to the end of that movement shooting phase. As you remember, I had priority. Um, we, I mean, we were quite, we were cowardly. Some would say we were. Uh, mimicking the famous tactic of the Rossitron. I would say I would say it was very tactical, very well played. Is how I would have done it. Thank you, mate. Uh, we were treated three inches uh, across this centre section, allowing Ross only to charge our stronger portion. Uh, unfortunately, it means our heroes are not engaged in combat this turn. Yeah, I was able to pick and choose. That was nice. So mm. that was a nice bonus with that. That's quite right. Um, we uh, we otherwise we remained where we were, other than Aristotle's slight retreat, and then um, and then uh, we shot. And unfortunately, all our shots were. Uh, Unfortunately, it's, you know how it is. You roll sixes to hit and fours to wound. It would be quite nice to be the other way around. Indeed, um, so the other way around was... Uh, yeah, no wounds nice caused. But uh, Ross, you then you then advance. I would say it's very picturesque seeing these sort of staccato squadrons of six to eight men making their way forward. Yeah, for holiday. Um, because we've always said on the channel that we, attacking in waves is a terrible idea. Therefore, what we decided to do is split up and attack in waves. Um, I basically what happened is because Matthew was occupying that portion in the middle of the rock there, I couldn't get all my men in, um, so I had to have a portion left behind, and um, that's the reason we're now split down. In. Um, but I was able to choose my charges over here, uh, so we've only gone for one uh, or one elf. Um, left the captain out, and we charged uh, two Numenorean bowmen there with the black guard and uh, two spear supports. Now once again, my heavy magic casters came in, um, and the Undying tried to pop off a black dart at Matthew's banner. Um, but it didn't go off. And then over here, the Grub once again tried to compel a lowly Alvin Spearman out from his cubbyhole with his friends and failed. Even with the crown. Um, so, in, in, in fact, we just charged him. We just charged him down on the side. Um, so, potentially, a heroic combat there um, or, or a hurl um, to break down his lines would be excellent and fun. Um, I think that's everything. That's everything yeah, that's so, for the first time in this game, We'll come back to you with the Captain Fights in the Combat phase. Okay, welcome back. Um, after much deliberation, I decided not to call any heroics with the Grub. Um, I'm very aware the Elves actually match the Grub. The basic troops match him for fight value. So I don't really want to go down to, 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 to the Elven Blade type thing and, and roll off. And so that's all not for very murky territory. Anyway, over here, um, we had great success. Um, we managed to kill the two uh, Numenorean Bowmen. Yeah, only on a 4+. plus. They're weak. Indeed. The strength five is excellent. Um, and we won the combat here. However, um, we didn't do enough to be able to kill. Um, so we are now going over to the last fight, which is the Grub versus the Archer. Yes. So Matthew has a single dice. A four. A four. Uh, I have uh, three with the Witch King, three with the Witch King plus one on the charge. Yes. It's been a while since I've used a Grub, so... Uh, oh, God. Oh, this is very geez. much against the run of play. You've won three combats, and now... You've rolled three twos, mate. The only way you can possibly tie this fight is to use two of the three wills. <laughs> I would, which I'm not going to. Yeah, so just a simple retreat. A simple retreat. God. I have uh, an opportunity here to wound the foul beast or the witch king. I'm going to try and wound the foul beast. Are you going for the beast? Not, do you don't want VPs for the king? With the, for the no, grub? I'm going for the beast. Six. Okay, mate. Yeah. Oh, should have gone two-handed. You have nothing to lose. Well, I suppose you get the six. Mm. Cool. Um, as you can see, the, the beast is actually propped up by two dice there, so backing him away an inch might be somewhat tricky, but Matthew's going to attempt this. Well, Keep the camera down. rolling. We'll just drop him down. Drop oh, gee, the bloody hell. Look at that. Yeah, that's a long way, but we will, we'll, 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 we know. if we need. We know. Four. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of the, this phase. Uh, this turn, sorry. So, uh, back to priority. It's a four. It's a four. It's a good roll. I only get a free, therefore the pendulum priority remains firmly with the forces of good. Welcome back to the end of the movement shooting phase. It is all uh, swords bared across the battle line now. It um, is all going on. Yes, I took the opportunity to charge in. I had some excellent double ups, but Ross is uh, very, uh, very astutely um, separated those out with his, his rear battalion. You remember he had six or so in reserve and they've come through and relieved his front line. 
Um, we have some exciting news. The Undying, as you can see here, cast Compel on my banner and took him away from the fight, which we thought was excellent. We did. It was excellent. It was cast on a six as well. It was. And then Ross, buoyed on by his successes, charged around the side with the Undying into the banner. He could take it out this turn. So I may say full hardly, um, but we'll, we'll see. And then across on the other flank is the other Wraith, the Witch King, uh, which took a great deal of balancing to get him. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, word, the words blue tap were mentioned. At one point, we even uh, discussed the uh, idea of maybe super gluing the dice onto the base. Um, <laughs> we did. Um, but he, we've managed it so far. I see he's just shook there. There is news there. There is news there. The white, the, the, the chap with the white dice next to him. Yeah, he, uh, he unfortunately failed his courage test, so he could not join his brethren in combat against the Wraith. But the other two successfully charged the uh, Ring Wraith on his foul beast. So uh, no no nasty charges from it this turn. Sealdor's fighting free there, isn't he? He two, is. He's two got... base, one support. That's right. And, and Aristor. Oh, Aristor threw his dagger and killed. Oh, he guy. did. He killed the first potato face, didn't yes. he? And charged into the two here. Yeah, so there's uh, some very exciting fights, and we are very excited to bring you them very soon when we get to the captain fights in the combat phase. Hello. Welcome back to the battlefield. After much deliberation, I've. Matthew talked himself out of a heroic combat with uh, Isildur. Yeah, Matthew played a big role, didn't it, Ross? It did. It did. Um, and uh, if you watched our video from the uh, the Gondor Mordor fight, where we played the maths with Ingold and the troll, oh yeah, that paid off. It did, so you should go and check that out if you haven't. Um, then, yes, Matthew is king of the maths. He loves the statistics. Anyway, I have decided that I'm going to call a heroic combat with the Undying here. This is for two reasons, Ross, isn't it? It is. Firstly, I want to go first and kill your banner off, um, so as he can't affect the rest of these fights. And secondly. I don't like the Undying being placed behind enemy lines. I want to try and bring him back. Yes. Um, so can pull him back into some safety. But unfortunately, as you see, it's a staff, not a sword. He's not renowned for his combat prowess. However, Matthew can't actually roll a six because of the banner. That's right. So, well, I mean, let's just roll dice. Let's let's roll dice. A three down to a two. Two down to a two. If you like to think. It's a six. There it is. Even with my reroll, which... Is a four down to a three. three. You take it, mate. So you get four strikes here. He has a defense first. You need five plus. Oh, we'll see. Actually, you know what? Tactically, I'm going to move him. Yeah, I would. Yeah. It's just, oh, oh tactically, it. it doesn't matter. You wet, you you get him, mate. So my banner is gone. Banner's down. That's a significant blow for the forces of good. It is. It is. Banner's always so important when taking the uh, taking the elves. And with that, with that death, mate, we are tied on a numbers value. Oh, so fantastic! Kill one more, and you'll start getting your rerolls for once. How exciting! This is excellent. I will um, move the undying, and uh, we will carry on with the rest of the combat phase. Welcome back. Firstly. Ross of Troms, uh, Undying has, has made its way careening around to the back. Indeed. Pulling strings from the rear. <laughs> and I, I, I really, the only way I can deal with him now is if I want to take a significant chunk of my infantry line, which can never catch him. So, Ross, you've really got sort of complete control of the rear of my army here. Indeed, which uh, hopefully I'm going to need. Um, it, hopefully it will come off, I should say, because I'm going to need it. Um, it's been a bloody turn, It has hasn't been it? a bloody turn. I think There's I, a I lot killed, of deaths. I killed um, five in combat this turn, and you've killed three in combat. There's uh, there's been a lot of special strikes going on. There's been piercing faintings, strikes, piercing strikes, two-handed. Two oh. It's uh, yeah, it's been one of those turns. So we are now coming into the captain fights. We are. So we'll. Uh, We'll begin we'll to start, uh, with Aerosaur down here, please, Ross. Aerosaur, so I have two metal models in there, don't I? You do. Um, and I have Aerosaur in white, and he may as well faint. He may as well. Well, actually, he doesn't need to be... He roll, oh, he goes, yeah, you can't, can't re-roll re a re-roll, so... Right. Six. Mate. Six. Well, there's no point in me even beginning to roll any dice there. Okay, well, we'll put, we'll put, one, uh, we'll put, um, we'll put one on each, mate. Okay, okay, mate. I'll do that separately. I, think that's fair. Uh, I need five pluses here. Rerolling failed to wounds. Good job, they got those Noldering Daggers. Oh, oh, that was good. I didn't need a Spearman. Bloody hell. My left flank, I'm in danger of having my flank rolled up here. And, uh, being caught in centre. Mark these off. Um, then what have we got next? Going along, we've got Isildur! Isildur! I've got um, three in there, haven't I? Isildur and a... Well, I imagine a six is Chap, Isildur will faint. Okay. As well. A four, mate. A four. So let's see if we can force Matthew to try and use some might here. We all we do. We got a five. I'll tell you what, mate. The heroes have not been. I missed Lord of the West. You did. And, <laughs> Indeed. And, and banners. Um, I will use a point of might to win the fight. That would make sense. Yes. Uh, he is my leader after all. I do not want to risk you having. Mind you, he's defence. What is he now with that shield on the back? Seven. Eight. 
Oh, what eight. What do you say? Bloody hell, mate. Yeah, an eight with a shield. So you do only use six and three dices. Dice. 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 Okay, so uh, <laughs> you sealed on these. We all we need fives. We yeah, there's a base card up to you. You can only kill two, yeah, so I say you can only. Okay, so I put one on each. Yes, and there's a spearman for fun. So that's two down. See, this time, mate, you played the maps. It didn't come off you. You should have gone no, for right combat there. Should have combat. The cut a bloody swave. But we needed the might to, to. I'd be two might down there. And with that, mate, I mean, you've cut my army in half now, literally through the centre there. That is crazy. That's isn't not it? good. Um, my captain against just a single man. Just a isn't single it? man, yeah. He came through to try and sacrifice himself and right. split the combat up, but this could be his demise. Captain will faint. Yep. Six. Six. Oh, good lord. Uh, needing fives on white. Get him. Look, oh my goodness. I've never seen so many dots in my life. I have every week I play you. <laughs> <laughs> so now with that, that Nothing. is another probably another that's another five wounds so yeah. far. Yeah. And then another and then the grub. You can got the grub now, haven't we? Good um, Lord. I'm not going to go any special strikes here. Not I'm going to handed. Well, no, 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 I'll faint with one. I'll faint with the with the black dice. Yes. So you don't want to faint with both. Five, mate. Five, uh, still good. I've got three in here. Yeah. Five. Five or so. So it's tied. It's your priority, mate. So. Use the, use the mic. Yeah, I think I'll. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. I think I shall. Roger that. Might used. And you win the fight on might. Uh, you need strength of a foul beast. Is a. I'm half tempted to see if what I can get for a hurl here. Oh, bloody hell, okay. Uh, well, well, no, wait, no, wait, I will crush, I will crush. Okay, I think you'll fight a strength six, aren't you, with Val Beast? Yeah. So you're only four pluses here, mate. Okay, you're having me to roll yeah. uh, in a one eye, yeah? Yeah, I'll have Oh, God. Do you know what? Oh, dear, mate. I think it might be time to hang up the dice and tape measure. <laughs> Hang up the dice and take measure. I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's all gone horribly no. wrong. We should have gone for the super glue option. Well, uh, perhaps we'll fix that off camera. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, we'll just uh, come over here, pretend it hasn't happened, and then roll for priority. Five. It's a five. Oh, it's a strong roll. A stronger than a two. Therefore, the pension priority goes to the forces of good. Welcome back to the movement and shooting phase. Um, Ross and I have just recovered from a bout of laughter, which we'll get onto in a moment. So, starting where Ross is, uh, the Witch King uh, called a heroic move. My elf captain countered and won the roll off. Those two elves have successfully charged, and that further elf has failed his courage test. We now have four dice under the base of the Witch King. Uh, as we come down the infantry line here, as you can see, we've engaged the uh, the elves and the Numenorians have successfully peeled off every single possible support for Ross. The only fight in which Ross outnumbers me is this one here with a spearman and a swordsman, and we were fighting that spearman there. Otherwise, um, you are without support it's, everywhere. It's, it's not looking one. good at two all. Two. Yeah, we've got uh, Aristor successfully again um, killed someone with his throwing weapon as he went to charge into combat. Now he finds himself around there. Um, and I suppose I will get on to the reason why we were almost laughing. Yes, well, remember how the Undying successfully came around the back here. I moved him across, and he could eyeing up a seal door for a cheeky transfix. Two dice were rolled, and what was the outcome, Matthew? Double one, mate. Indeed, indeed a double one. Um, so that is another round of no magic going off. And that's the reason I brought two wraiths, is so I could dictate combat push and pull men where I wanted them to go. And actually, currently, that's happened once. Yeah, with a, with a, well, a very successful... Well, battle. yeah, okay, let's not, you know, let's not... Uh, An assassination. Yes, indeed. But, uh, so yeah, that's how the board looks. You had no shooting, did you? No. Um, now the lines are all sort of... Combat everywhere. Yeah, right? it's chaos, isn't it? So um, without any further ado, we'll slip into the, uh, the the combat phase and we'll come back to you, as always, with... The Captain Fights. No sooner had we slipped into the combat phase and the phone was put down... Matatron declared. Uh, heroic uh, combat with Aristor. Indeed, that's what you said, mate. They were the words that came out of your mouth. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get, in, let's get into it. Right, in which case, uh, for the sake of differentiation, the red dice is the spearman in, in base to base, he's going to faint with the sword. Wonderful. Aristor is white. I'll be shielding. Roger, only four, mate. A oh. six. Oof. Mate, that's it. That will do it for you. That will okay, do it, because you can't, you can't, you can't, can't, uh, so can't a, get there. That's a point of Mike down the frickin' swan but he um, did he did he pulled his weight he's already killed somebody when he charged in so yes. actually let's not uh yeah, yeah, judge him too yeah, yeah, too harshly yeah, 
Well, that's the end of that. Um, we'll, we'll come back at you again with the rest of the captain fights. And welcome back. Um, is that the board looks after the combat phase? And to say that I've been smashed, I fear, is an understatement. I'm certainly broken. Um, Matthew could not stop rolling fives and sixes. It, it was it was unbelievable, yeah, if I'm being honest. Crazy. It was. A sight to behold. It was amazing. We thought perhaps you you, uh, you won this combat here, you fended me off. We thought, oh, maybe the dice gods have uh, changed their allegiance after the Eris store. Indeed. Rubber sword. However. Um, but no, very swiftly I won every combat <laughs> and, then, and then killed and pretty, killed much, pretty much everything. Yeah. You Slight slight um, change here where you managed to shield away my forces. Yeah, that was it. I was, well, I was shielding because I was outnumbered in every single um, combat. I was hoping that we can maybe get for it slightly uns less scathed than we were. Um, and then win priority next turn, and then try and swing things into my own favour. However, that has not happened. Everything has gone horribly wrong. That's right. So, I mean, we're now at the stage where we'll uh, carry out the captain fights and Indeed. see if this adds or um, subtracts from Ross's pain. Matthew's choice. Uh, we'll begin with Isildur. Isildur. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to add. Uh, cool. So he's against uh, two in there. He is, mate. Yeah, so I'll thank them with Isildur. And he has a support, doesn't he? So, he so I'm going black here. Uh, four mate, not not super not, high. Not super high, so I will uh, high for me. go in with oh, six. There's that, there it is. There's that six again. He's, he's he's my leader. And he does have. Is he got? He's got the might to get in there, isn't he? He does. But that would that take him out? That would be zero might. Don't I'm know. Gonna, bad I'm things happen. It. You're gonna do it. Yeah, two might. Fantastic. Pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. But I mean, if he kill, if he comes off here and kills, this is true. Kills two. Five pluses of every dice. One, oh, and he does. Do you know what? Look at that. Isildur's just gone off on one. Yeah, he's, had to, he's had to use his might to do it, but that's why I suppose he's been given it. That, so. exactly, exactly. That turned the tide. Oh, we've got the Elven captain and support oh, against a single Moran in here. Well, I think, you think. know, the horse has bolted, so there's no point in shielding, really. <laughs> a three. A three. Let's see what we can get then. A four. Oh, go on. Over to you, mate. You've not got a point of might that you want to use to... No, no, no. I'll preserve it. No. Oh, yeah, I, need, I want the might over there in case you win priority and I want to stop that witchly grub. Oh, yeah. Um, you mean the unstoppable grub that's <laughs> moved backwards three inches since the start of the game? You said that's a 200-point <laughs> model. It's been significantly God. disappointing. Yes, it's it has. Anything. It's, it's done nothing. Done nothing. It's he failed to cast. He charged the first turn. Got beat. And then it's been charged subsequently every single turn since. Yeah, it's what what a crazy. what a game. <laughs> uh, here we go then. A three. A four. Oh, okay, well, this is not a six. I would have fainted with one of those. Yeah, that's fine. Six. Six. Here we well, go. Uh, well, here we go, mate. So you got your three dice. You need uh, four, four pluses. Four pluses, and we've been here before, though. Straight. I'm just going to roll. Two. Two. Oh, go on, grub. He's doing what he's supposed to do. I mean, if you had that first turn, that'd have been wonder bar. That's right. So just mark that off. The two there ears. Look, very good. Uh, cool. On his, on his uh, he's got his own. What's it? His own. Um, what's the thing? The emperor, the dragon emperor's on the palanquin. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know. The big mama. The big mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, I'm definitely broken. Yeah. Well, do, well, well, I I think I just counted. You have nineteen. Oh, it's a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one killed. You had thirty-one. So you're down to 10 men on the board, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you are broken, so you'll be taking courage wow, tests. Wow, that's not good. Um, and we'll start rolling 1s or 2s next turn. Indeed. Well, priority for this turn. We can't use any of our nice dice, because they're all being used to prop up the grub. Do you want my little so, dice, mate? Oh, yeah, could I? There you go. Cheers, mate. A 1. A 1. I'm going to roll it anyway. Yeah, it's totally... A 5. Fun. Priority goes to the evil force. Hello, welcome back. Um, I called a heroic move for my captain. Ross countered with the final might of the Witch King. And uh, Ross, uh, you lost a roll off once again. I did, you? I did once yes. again. But it wasn't all lost because the the one elf that was in uh, range to get him failed his courage test. So... Indeed. Can we play this difficult terrain so you couldn't get up and over, could you? No, I couldn't. So I I, uh, I charged and surrounded as effectively as I possibly could, which you can sort of see here. And then um, the Witch King uh, carried out his move, and he swung himself around the back. He popped off a transfix at Isildur, who successfully resisted. He did. 
And then um, the Undying came charging in, successfully transfixed Aerostore on a six. Indeed. Which um, uh, goaded me into rolling both of my will dice to try and get that elusive six. And uh, it did not occur for you? No, I failed. Um, so he's transfixed and the Undying is in combat. Yes, the Undying had to come this way because I needed to try and keep the rest of these orcs in, the three orcs I have available that weren't charged by Matthew during the heroic move. That's right, because you were taking Courage Sesto. You only have to take one in the end because the Witch King's Hero of Legend. Yes. Um, and then it was left to me to finish off the rest of my move and I swiftly surrounded all that Ross had left on the board other than the Undying who is uh, sort of got a free charge here, really. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, there is no shooting because everyone's engaged. Indeed. So that leads us into the combats, and uh, we'll come back to you with the captain fight. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have made our way through the uh, ordinary infantry uh, uh, warrior fights, and it has once again been a turn of and disaster for Ross. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, I, I, I mean, the only saving grace was this guy survived. That was the small. only survive. Yeah, that was the yeah. only surprise. And the um, black guard here beat his opponent, but otherwise you lost and, and were killed in every, every single day. fight. And your rerolls normally offered me a glimpse of hope, and then the reroll would come in and because destroy me. Indeed. Trapped. Indeed. Um, yes, and because of all the two-handed and the new Minorians coming in, there was a lot of only fives needed, which was super helpful for me, not for us. Uh, which leads us into the captain fights. We have we have the Alpha Captain, the Witch King, the Undying, Isildur to go. Where would you like to start? Indeed, off? it's my priority. Yeah, so let's start with the Undying. We'll start over there. Okay, so I have two guys. Let's we'll see if I'm anything exciting can be done for me. Fight normally here. A five. Five. Oh, oh god. Oh lord. Lord. Um, so we will. What do we need? We need sixes on the man. Six on the man. Uh, if you go for the horse, that counts horse. as a wound. Wound. So oh, you I could. So. I mean, I, not that you need the points, this but. This is for the horse. Missed. This is for the horse. Missed. Damn it. A oh, waste. Uh, okay. Then we've got. We might as well do a shield or now. A shield or, a shield uh, or He's not transfixed, is he? So it's just against me. Yes. I'll shield for what it's worth. Six. So it was not worth nothing. Five needed. Yeah. There it is. And then we have the charging grub. At least he's charged this turn. Charging grubby. Okay, I've got two in here, haven't I? So uh, I'll... yeah, you've got uh, you've got an Alvin spearman and a Numenorian spearman in I'll, there. I'll just fight ordinarily here, mate. I've got two. Two. Not great. Come on. Yes. Well done, mate. What do you want to do? Um. Oh, let, what, what's the rule for a barge? Uh, I forget. I'd have to look. Yeah, we'll pause and we'll come back to you. Okay, well, we read the rules for the barge, and I know I'm going to do it. Um, our plan was to try and get into it sealed or somehow. I need to try and gain some victory points from somewhere from this game. Um, but I don't think... Uh, well, the, the dice gods have not been kind to me, so the D6 um, movement afterwards, I don't think I'm going to roll high enough. And also, I don't know if his base um, would fit in there. I mean... Doesn't look as big as it does in real life, and it does on the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try and crush the uh, the troops um, normally. So we'll do it two by two because we do get to double our dice. That's what you need four pluses. Okay. Well, let's start. So I'll you start with it? the Alvin. Alvin. Okay. Person. Yep. Yep. Six dice to bear on one. Oh yep. Yes. I can see it. From I over can there. see it. It's different for the camera. Oh, Grub. Finally. I've got, no more. I've got one with a Undying. But the game might suddenly end on oh. a, a one or a... Oh, I mean, we should probably finish the turn first, <laughs> I suspect. <laughs> the Elven Captain. Go for it. He's fainting. Six. See, I was that confident I didn't even pick up any dice. We need fives of the white. We're on ones on the white. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, done. He's absolutely that. done him. Look Five at that. Sixes again. I can't believe this. I've never seen so many. Dots. Uh, so, Ross, it's your priority. It is my priority. That dice. I mean, uh, one, you've been in, one or two is really going to end right now. It does. And, it does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, true to form, that is the end of the game. Um, I mean, we probably could not bother doing any <laughs> titling up and totting and all that sort of stuff. But do you know what? We're going to, for fun, and then we will come back to you with the post battle battle report. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Base Battle Battle Report. Indeed. Um, quite the crushing defeat, Ross. Oh, it was, it was crushing, yes. Can't think of any other adjectives to describe my defeats. 
it was it was a uh, I'm, I'm flabbergasted at the <laughs> speed at which my horses cut yours down. So am I. I Can't believe it. Well, after turn two, I was like, I look like I lost a lot of men, and I had I lost some Thai war at that point. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, my sh my shooting superiority only only gained me a single a single death. It is, uh, but Aristotle's throwing dagger, two deaths. I've never ever had a game, I don't think, when that much has not gone my way. Yeah, that was horrendous. I couldn't believe the things I was seeing. I, you... e equally though, oh, you know, I think your army list was very good because you had you had the fight value mm -hmm. and the extra strength, and you tried to mm -hmm. like make the most of your special strikes special moves i did and did. yeah it was it was yeah i think once i got the uh the numenorians and the elves mixed together then i could use a fight five and also the strength four of the numenorian and then the two-handed um swords of the bowmen very um, potent. The elves, it was yeah made it a lot easier to because by that time i had i had more men in different areas than you you did mm -hmm. um i suppose it was uh that was so there was two large infantry contingents. Like normally we have a little bit of like cab, cab or something like that just to mix it up. Maybe a siege but actually, engine. Maybe a siege engine. We love a siege engine. Um, but actually it just goes to show you that you, you paid more points for troops, but you kind of only had one or two less than me to start with. And well, actually more than you. More than me, that's it. Yeah, sorry. One so it was the other way around, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, actually it, it showed that you were superior in the fight. Thank you, mate. It was, uh, in terms of the scores, we did top oh, tittle. Yeah, we did. We uh, did. It didn't take very long. No, it was tw I had 27 wounds achieved, Ross achieved 9. So it was a, a. I did triple the wound count, which got me 7 points, 6 points. And then there was the, the breaking aspect as well, which got me a further 3, because I was unbroken. Indeed. So it was a 10 nil, and yeah. The, you it was. commented the biggest margin. I think it is. I think it could possibly be the biggest margin on the channel. Yeah, um, it could well be. <laughs> Uh, just, I mean, there's nothing you could have really done. No. Uh, well, well, no, no, no. Well, let's let's, 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 in terms let's of, pick it apart. Yeah, I, mean, there were, there, I, I was only meaning in terms of a lot of the fights at the beginning were two on twos, and you just lost all of them and died. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was no, no fault of your own. I think the big turn was the turn two for it combat with the grub. Oh, yeah. If that had gone, if that had gone my way, I could have got round the back then. I mm -hmm. mean, I paid, what, so how much was the grub? I can't remember. 200 two, points, mate. 200 points. Plus what, 120 for the Undying? Mm. I think it's 205 actually, because you added that extra will because you had a spare. Oh yeah, five. I had a spare five. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So 205, 305, 325 points. So well over half. Well, over half of my army with those two um, models. Models, and they did they did not pull their weight. No, I mean the Undying <laughs> did. Yeah. Was so it, we killed the banner. I it suppose. was effective in killing the banner. That was probably your highlight of the game. But yes, um, and then the Undying did. Successfully transfixed Aristotle at the end. He did, but, but I think that, that was too little, too late. Yeah, not in, in ideal world, you want all the heroes. Not a lot of shout back. Not a lot of shout back. And the Witch King, you would have expected. You got two two kills at the end there. Two kills at the end. Um, yeah, I you, think you managed to kill two archers as well. You killed the two archers and you killed the two, so four kills for 200, 205 points. No not, successful magical power spells no going near on. It. Nowhere near it. Yeah. Uh, the, in fact, the only one he did get off which was successful was against the Sildor, and you uh, resisted it. That's true, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You could take him on a horse and had a couple of knights in there or something. Yeah, maybe we should have um, put him on a, on, a, on a... But you expect the foul beast to do some damage. But you do, you do. Hurling, that sort of thing, softening your troops up. But uh, alas, not today. Not, not to be. Not, not today. today. Yeah, in terms of my, my game, everything just sort of... Well, I suppose winning all the dice rolls certainly helped. But <laughs> it, was yeah. a very, it was a very simple, straightforward battle. The only... The only real wild card we had was the Wraith on the Foul Beast, but uh, it was just very unfortunate that all dice rolls went my way, really, and I was able to keep him pinned down, out, off, on a limb. Oh, yeah, well, you, uh, had, you had the priority as well, and you won the roll off for uh, contesting the right move as well. So Yeah, I, I mean, I, I did benefit from having a hero on each sort of section. That was quite nice. So I had a might on my flanks and in the centre. Yeah. yeah, that was very nice. And the Seal Door had to use all three might to just get wounds in the end, but it was effective because it um, cut your army in yeah, half. It did. Yes, yeah, so it was. So uh, well, I will press you for a for a man of the match, mate. So, I mean, you really hard. Find one and pull one out. I mean, I'm really. I mean, there's a case of several models here. One is uh, Aristor for his fantastic throwing his daggers. Two kills yeah, at that. Yeah, well, yeah, that was good. I think good. he managed to good, muster yeah. up about four kills in the end. Um, there's obviously a Sildur in the centre. I think he got the, the highest body count, probably to about four, four or six or yeah, something, something like that. Something like that. 
Um, but you're right when Captain held that flank down. In fact, I don't think he moved. I think he stayed in that spot. From where he, yeah, yeah from maybe above three inches. Yeah, I think that was his. That was his deployment position. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm going to give it to, for based on what we've spoken about, yeah. I'm actually going to give it to the the three man archer team on the rock, because <laughs> while they didn't kill anyone, what they did do was entirely advantageous to the rest of the army. They were self sacrificial in holding down they were. the flank in, in terms of just stopping the witch king doing its dirty, dirty business. I would agree. I think that's a, an excellent choice. Because if you'd had the chance, you could have been whipping people, chucking them down the line, knocking yeah. people off their feet. There's a different story because you don't, even though you win the combat, you don't get to strike, so I stayed in the fight for longer. That's right. But, um, that's right. So I'm going to go, go there. Can you, can no, you who I are you going to select? What, for Man of the Match? Yeah. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? It's got, well, it's got to be them dying because he's the only person did any. He's the only person did anything. Yeah. You know, killed the banner and kept the orcs in at the end with his courage, I guess. Yeah, he did. He did. He had <laughs> was, there's not a lot to choose from there. No. Well, in which case, mate, uh, these are to the end of the video, and um, as always, I hope to engage you in a hearty handshake. And I would very much like to engage you and accept the offer of hearty handshake. Congratulations on your victory, my friend. Thank you and commiserations. Cheers, mate. Honey, 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 honey. honey. <laughs>